Question 3.1 consists of five data handling questions that were designed to assess your ability to analyze data presented in the table. I give this question an overall difficulty rating of 6 out of 10. Let's take a look at this question in detail to see why. You are given a table that shows the economically active population of South Africa for the third quarter in 2021. The table lists the professions and the number of people that fill those positions per race. All values are given in thousands. Question 311 instructs you to calculate the total number of people actively employed in South Africa. The total number of people actively employed in South Africa can be read of the table here. Since the value is in thousands, you will have to multiply it by 1000 to get the true value. So, the total number of people is 14,281 multiplied by 1000 and this equals 14,281,000. In question 312, you are instructed to determine the median for the black African population. The first step to determining the median is to arrange the data in ascending order. So we must arrange the values from the smallest value to the largest value. The arrangement will look like this. The median is the number that divides the number of values in the data set into two equal groups. Because there is an even number of values in the data set, you will have to find the mean of the middle two values. This answer will be the median. The median equals 791 plus 919 divided by 2 and this gives you a median of 855. Multiplying this value by 1000 gives you a value of 855,000. In question 313, you have to determine the average of the black African population. The average is also known as the mean and is equal to the sum of the values divided by the number of values. The sum of the black African population is given as 10,698 in the table. So the average equals 10,698 divided by 10 and this will give you an average of 1,069,8. Multiplying this value by 1000 will give you a value of 1,069,800. In question 314, you are required to state with reason which measure of central tendency is a better representation of this data. Your options are between mean and median. The mean, also known as the average, is best suited for data that does not have any outliers. Outliers in a data set are values that are extremely high or extremely low compared to the other values in that data set. If you take this data set as an example, you will have two outliers, which are skilled agriculture and elementary. Skilled agriculture is very low and elementary is very high compared to the other values in this data set. The median on the other hand is not affected by outliers because the median only returns the value that divides the data set into two equal groups. This is the median for the same data set which was calculated in question 312. Notice that it is not affected by the outliers. So the better measure of central tendency is the median because it is not affected by the outliers which this data set has. In question 315, you are given the range of the total actively employed population. You have to determine A, which is the lowest number in that data set and is represented by the profession of skilled agricultural workers. The range is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value in the data set. So the equation for range is the highest value minus the lowest value. Substituting the range of 3,471,000 and the highest value of 3,534,000 and rearranging the equation so that the lowest value is the subject of the equation this will give you the lowest value of 63,000 Thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next